This is a good engine. An LS engine. You know what else is good? When people subscribe to this awesome content on this channel, I'm Aaron with Red Hog Garage. And I'd like to make you all aware that 89.7% of viewers are not subscribers. Now that's a problem. A big problem. Because you're all missing out on the comedy and the sweet bills like on this LS. Don't you want to see more beastly LS content right here on Red Hog Garage? I know I So go ahead and do me a favor. Hit that notification bell. Hit the subscribe button. So you can see more of this awesome content. So you can be in the know. Yo. Aaron. From Red Hog Garage. Signing in. guys getting ready to tear this engine down and uh, I actually started working on it a couple minutes ago uh, to see if I could go ahead and get the uh, all the drive stuff off of the oil pan and it took me forever to get this side off you see the corrosion in there um it don't really like this thing's in bad shape but it definitely uh, was stuck there this one I actually had given up on it yesterday because I had some other stuff I had to do. So, I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to get this thing off. And it's all unbolted, but I'm talking about it won't even budge. I've tried driving wedges in there, uh, beating on it. Uh, so, I got another couple of tricks up my sleeve. I mean, it's going to come off one way or another, but uh, I'm just trying not to break the oil pan. I really don't want to break anything, but anyway, that that's really stuck. So once I can get that off, we'll be able to move along pretty quick. That was one of the most insane things I've ever seen on a car. I finally got it off. And it appears that I didn't damage anything. Aside from a few scratches. Uh, I tried to direct most everything at this. As you can see, I tried to drive a stake through the, through the uh, oil pan. What I ended up doing is taking this uh, manual pickle fork and I drove it pretty much right in the front corner right here. Got some pressure on it and then I took the uh, pickle fork with the air hammer and just kept kind of working it from the bottom. And finally out of nowhere I, I just saw some movement so I knew I was getting somewhere at that point so I kept driving it on the front, driving it on the back, going back and driving it on the front, basically kind of rocking the the uh, front div, and eventually it finally came off, but that took probably about 30 minutes to get that off. Um, again, just a terrible design from GM. Uh, this, is, this is the only vehicle I've ever heard of that the uh, front differential and uh, disconnect and, and all that stuff goes through the whole thing so I mean I don't know about all the cars out there but that's the only one I know of and it seems like a pretty crazy setup but you can see how there was all this corrosion in here and all GM really had to do is implement some kind of a seal 
around the outside where that pushes into the oil pan. And uh, I think that would have kept that from happening. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you. This stuff was, this stuff was pretty much the exact same way. Um, this disconnect housing was actually corroded probably worse. As you can see right here, and it was it was really hard to get off too. So you can see all that corrosion. It's definitely stuck, let's put it that way. So anyway, now that I've gotten past the hurdle, I think the rest of this is gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna get the transmission ripped off. Um Go ahead and get it on the stand. You know, get the heads pulled and everything, and uh, start cleaning her up. start cleaning it up um, I've got a modification to do to the oil pan it's Kevin uh, Hansen's baffle which I've got right here somewhere I just saw it a couple days ago there it is so this is Kevin Hansen's uh, oil pan baffle here 
and uh, I'll probably do a, a little sort of separate video on, on the install for this one um, but that's going in the oil pan got a melon high pressure oil pump going in this is a uh, comp cams it was cut for NC uh, what is it PCM in North Carolina uh, Mr. Attitude V3 cam and uh, got some rail lifters these are uh, BTR trunnions and I already installed them and then uh, this is a 7955 comp cam push rod 80 wall and of course I got all the usual stuff you know Tama chain uh, dampener gear um, head bolt set all the gaskets um, and some of this stuff came from my previous engine that I took out of my Trailblazer, the 2005 Pro Charge Trailblazer. And what we got here is some BTR 660 springs and retainers and my old 862 head. So I'm going to be pulling these off and putting those on the uh, 243 heads. Also, uh, I'm going to be going ahead and pulling apart the transmission because I've got a uh, a Borg Warner high energy three to four clutch pack going in. I've got a uh, Super Pro Series wide band and some, uh, let's say I got some new uh, molded pistons for the Ford. And I've got a couple other parts that I don't, I don't have laid out. Like uh, I got another Super Servo uh, for second and fourth. Um, I've got a 3600 stall over here and again that came out of my uh, truck before but I only ran it was about 14,000 miles so I mean this stuff's practically brand new but uh so this is my 3600 stall and uh it actually says the flash stall is 35 to 3800 and when my engine was naturally aspirated it stalled around 36 and uh I actually had this in my transmission from our pro charger for a very short period of time and and it actually stalled at like 42 or 4300 on the pro charger that's why i took it out uh, but anyway this is the uh transmission that came out i stuck that two-wheel drive tail shaft housing on there temporarily just to keep fluid from coming out of it but that's the main reason i'm going into it is because i'm going to change the output shaft to a two-wheel drive and uh, I've got actually two dry shafts, but the one that's in this box should have the correct um, universal joint to fit the rear end, or I could change it on that one. That's a Trailblazer SS dry shaft laying on the floor, and uh. Either way, um, they should both be the same length, but um, that's going in there. Um, I'm trying to think what else right now. It's pretty much all we need to cover, I think. Um, I mean, I do have other parts like the uh, electric fans. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and do an LS1 water pump conversion on this one like I like I did mine before and of course I got like a new valley cover for the DOD delete um that's probably really about it right now so I'm just going to keep working on this I think right now um uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick the cam and the lifters um and the lifter trays go ahead and get that stuff done and uh and then i'm going to start cleaning up the heads and cleaning up the block and hopefully um uh, very shortly we'll be able to start putting this thing back together get these heads put back on
guys, we're making some pretty good progress on this thing. Uh, got the cam put in, got all the Thomas stuff redone. Uh, got everything set up on the front. I gotta slide this seal in in the morning. Uh, that's no big deal. Uh, the hard part is getting it out. So all I gotta do is just push it in. Got the uh, pickup tube installed, the mailing oil pump. Uh, got everything cleaned up on the bottom and uh, got the new gasket in place. I've also got the oil pan baffle installed. Got the oil pan uh, cleaned up and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get that installed. And then I guess I'm going to flip this thing over, go ahead and clean the top of the engine and, uh, and then start working on getting the heads ready. turning 7200 rpms you know v8 sound really good when you get up about 7000 rpms they sound evil just awesome 7200 rpms awesomeness you know what i'm saying well do you i thought so you can keep cut now
Dude, what is up with this bolt? It's always the bottom one that's hard to get to. I think we're almost there, damn it. Oh, it's coming. Glory is coming. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. Move your hand, son. I was trying to help. I think the bolt is coming out right now. Whoa. Whoa. Man, so we should be able to get this uh thing, this thing in my jigger with the thing in my bobs. The hubs? The thing in my bob but uh, inside You're the thing of my jigger. Talking about the and the chimble? Yes, we need to get those out. Chimble, chimble, squimble. Exactly. Weemble. Squamble, chimble. Exactly. Kimble, chimble. Yes. GM. General Motors. Adrenaline Motors. General Motors. Tell you what, man. Did you say adrenaline? General Motors. He needs some adrenaline to work on him.